dear students we are handling the topic complex numbers objective complex numbers objective today class is level 1 class work some problems we have discussed in previous class that regarding concept of the complex numbers depends upon theorems of theory concept everything we have discussed now let us going to discuss level 1 class work from first question onwards the value of i square plus i power 4 plus i power 6 plus so on until 2n plus 1 terms 2n plus 1 terms put n is equal to 1 this is shortcut so n is equal to 1 meaning 2n plus 1 so 2n plus 1 meaning 3 so 3 terms we can take here so this is minus 1 plus i power 4 meaning 1 plus i power 6 becomes Minus one, so one minus one get cancelled. Answer is minus one. Now second question: Sigma n is equal to zero to infinity. Sigma n is equal to zero to infinity. Two i by three. Two i by three whole power n. Substitute here zero to infinity. So two i by three whole power zero becomes here one. You can write here one plus two i by three. 1 plus 2i by 3 plus 2i by 3 whole square like this. 1 plus 2i by 3 plus 2i by 3 whole square plus a so on until infinity. This is the geometric progression. In the geometric progression, formula s infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r. So 1 by 1 minus 2i by 3. 1 by 1 minus 2i by 3. That is equal to that is equal to here you can write three minus three by three minus two i rationalize so this is three plus two rationalize with three plus two i you can understand here three three are nine plus three into two i becomes six i by a square plus b square concept nine plus four it is nine plus six i by Thirteen. Let us discuss third question. Third question: Sigma k is equal to zero. Sigma k is equal to zero to two hundred. I power k. Sigma k is equal to zero to two hundred. I power k plus pi. Pi p is equal to one to fifty. I power p is equal to x plus i by. So, what is the value of x and what is the value of y? Substitute here k is equal to zero to two hundred. I power zero is equal to one. So, you can written as this one one plus i plus i square plus i cube plus so on until i power two hundred plus pi meaning product. So, product meaning i power one into i power two into i power three into i power four so on until fifty. So you can understand here i power one plus two plus three plus so on until fifty. One plus two plus three plus so on until fifty. So that is equal to here. Write the formula s n is equal to a into one minus r power n by one minus r. So one into one minus i whole power two not one whole by one minus i plus i power. This is one plus two plus three plus so on until fifty. 
So we can understand here this is 50 into 51 by 2. 2 dividing 25 times. 1 minus i whole power 201. i power 201 can be understood as i is, power, i is power 200 into i. i power 200 can be written as i square whole power 100. i square is equal to minus 1 whole power 100. Minus 1 whole power 100 becomes plus 1. So 1 minus i by 1 plus i plus this is i power 25 into 1, 25 and 25 to 5, 125. So this is 1275. This is 1 plus i into So it is 637 i square whole power 637 into i 1 plus i square becomes minus 1 so that is equal to 1 minus i so therefore x plus i y can understand as x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1. Fourth question, n belongs to cap plan, so n is real number, n belongs to cap plan, 1 plus i by root 2, 1 plus i by root 2 whole power 8n plus 1 minus i by root 2 whole power 8n is equal to dash, here put n is equal to 1 so it becomes 8n so 8 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2 you can understand as cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 whole power 8 according to Moore's theorem cos 8 pi by 4 plus i sin 8 pi by 4 whenever you are adding you get the real part cos theta plus i sin theta plus cos theta minus i sin theta becomes here cos 8 pi by 4 so, cos 2 pi, 8 into pi by 4 becomes 2 pi by 2 pi, cos 2 pi value 1, so it is simply 2, 2 into 1 is 2. Fifth question, the condition for the cube of a plus ib is real number, cube of a plus ib is real number, so a plus ib whole cube is real number a plus ib whole cube is real number using the formula a cube plus 3a square b a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so this is a cube plus 3a square ib 3ab square here i square b square becomes minus 1 that is a minus 3ab square we have to tell next step ib cube ib cube can be understood as i cube b cube i cube can be understood as i square into i so minus i b cube is equal to is a real number since it is a real number that implies whenever it is a real number you can understand as imaginary part is equal to zero whenever it is a real number it imaginary part is equal to zero so 3 a square b minus b cube is equal to zero b taken common this is 3a square minus b square equal to 0 so b is equal to 0 comma b square is equal to 3a square therefore b is equal to 0 comma b is equal to plus or minus root 3a next one sixth question 
Sixth question, Z is equal to 3 plus 5i. Z is equal to 3 plus 5i, that implies Z cube plus Z plus 198. Z cube plus Z plus 198. Substitute the value Z is equal to here. Right here, this is 3 plus 5i whole cube. 3 plus 5i whole, whole cube plus 3 plus 5i plus 198. That is equal to according to a plus b whole cube formula a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So 3 cube here, right here 3 cube meaning 27 plus 3a square b, 3 into 3 square becomes 9, 9 3 is 27, 27, 5 is 135 i. This is 135 i plus 3ab square, so 3 into 3 into 5i whole square becomes 25, i square minus 25, 3 into 3, 9, 9, 25 is 225, so this is 225 plus b cube, so it is minus 125i plus 3 plus 5i plus 198, I think this is ip sum, so now 27 and 198 adding, it becomes 225, 198, 27, 225 will be getting cancelled. Now you can understand here real part is only 3 we got 135 i minus 125 becomes 10 i. 10 i plus 5 i becomes 15 i. So the value is 3 plus 15 i. Now 7th question. 7th question is that x plus 3 i. x plus 3 i by 2 plus i by x plus 3 i by 2 plus i by is equal to 1 minus i. That implies find the value of 5x minus 7 by whole square. Find the value of 5x minus 7 by whole square. x plus 3 by x plus 3i is equal to cross multiplication the value 1 minus i into 2 plus i by x plus 3i is equal to multiply here this is a 2 plus this is i by minus this is a 2i this is minus i square it is becomes plus y so write like this x plus 3i is equal to 2 plus y plus i taken common here you can write y minus 2 within the brackets now if we got x plus 3i is equal to 2 plus y plus i into y minus 2. Comparing real comma imaginary parts of both sides. Comparing real comma imaginary parts. Real comma imaginary parts of both sides. That implies x is equal to y plus 2. x equal to y plus 2 comma 3 is equal to y minus 2. So using this one, write y is equal to 5 and x is equal to 7. Now, he is asking 5x minus 7 by whole square. 5x minus 7 by whole square. So what is the value of 5x? 5 into 735. 7 by, so 7 into 5, 35. 35 minus 35 whole square, the value is 0. 8 to 1. If x plus i y into 2 plus s is theta. If x plus i y is equal to 3 by 2 plus s theta, I am writing. This is ip sum. Roman number 2, first question in exercise 1b, the topic deleted in IPG. x plus i is equal to 3 by 2 plus cos theta plus i sin theta, then carry thread x square plus y square minus 4x minus 3. Find the value of x square plus y square minus 4x minus 3 plus 3. Put theta is equal to 0 degrees. You can understand here x plus i y is equal to 3 by 2 plus cos 0 plus i sin 0 becomes 3 by 
2 plus 1, 3 by 3. So 3 by 3 plus 0, you can write. Therefore, x is equal to 1 comma y is equal to 0. I mean, this is 0 into i concept. So whenever x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 is there, substitute the x and y values here. It becomes 1 plus 0 minus 4 minus plus, yeah, plus 3. So 4 minus 4 becomes 0 is the answer. <coughs> Ninth question. The non-zero complex number. The non-zero complex number z satisfying z is equal to i z square. The non-zero complex number z satisfying z is equal to i z square. I z square. So verify second option. Z is equal to i. Put here i is equal to i into i square. Z is equal to second option is not possible. Second option is minus a. First option is not possible. Z is equal to minus a. Put here minus sign minus sign. No, 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 not like this. I into minus sign whole square. So minus i is equal to here minus i whole square becomes minus 1 whole square into i square. It is minus 1 minus 1 into i minus i. So verify second option. Tenth one, the conjugate complex number of 1 by i minus 1. The conjugate complex number of 1 by i minus 1 is the complex number. Conjugate of a complex number. So what is the conjugate of complex number? Write like this. This is 1 by minus 1 plus i. So multiply with the conjugate complex number minus 1 minus i. Multiply and divide. So it is nothing but rationalization minus 1 minus i by this is 2. He is asking the conjugate of a complex number. So for this one also you should verify. The conjugate of this complex number 1 by i minus 1. No need to write this much. If we write 1 by i minus 1, 1 by minus 1 plus i. 1 by i minus 1 we need. Rationalization verification is not proper way. Given given complex number is 1 by i minus 1. Write as 1 by minus 1 plus i. 1 by minus 1 plus i. Minus taken comma. Right here minus 1 by 1 minus i. Maybe the conjugate is, yeah, minus 1 by 1 plus i. Because z1 by z2 concept. There is no conjugate for numerator. For denominator you can write minus 1 by i plus 1. Simple. Eleventh one. The complex number 1 plus 2i by 1 minus i lies in which quadrant? Complex number 1 plus 2i by 1 minus i lies in which quadrant? Rationalize with 1 plus i here. 1 plus 2i into 1 plus i by 1 minus i into 1 plus i. Multiply here. 1 plus 2i plus i becomes 3i. So 1 plus 3i plus 2i square minus 1. So right here minus 1 plus 3i by this is 2. minus 1 plus 3i by 2. What he is asking? It is in which quadrant? Understand like this. minus 1 by 2 comma 3 by 2. So minus u plus u concept. So it is belonging to q2, second quadrant. Twelfth one. If sin x plus i cos 2x and cos x minus i sin 2x are conjugate to each other, then what is the value of x? Write like this. Sin x plus i cos 2x. General notation. Our complex, complex number should start with real cos and imaginary sign. Sin x plus i cos 2x and he is asking 
is cos x minus i sin t i sin t x are congruent. So this bar is equal to this one. Sin x is equal to sin x plus i cos 2x bar is equal to cos x minus cos 2x minus i sin 2x. sin x plus i cos 2x comma cos x minus i sin 2x are conjugate to each other. So this conjugate is this one, correct. So right here sin x minus i cos 2x. Sin x minus i cos 2x is equal to cos 2x minus i sin 2x. Cos 2x, not cos 2x, this is cos x. cos x minus i sin 2x. This is cos x minus i sin 2x. This is cos x. Compare real and imaginary both sides. This is real. That implies. You can understand here sin x is equal to cos x. And in the similar way sin 2x is equal to cos 2x. So right here tan x is equal to 1. Right here tan 2x equal to 1, not positive. Whenever tan x is equal to 1, x is equal to pi by 4. Substitute that to pi by 4 here, this is tan pi by 2. Tan pi by 2 equal to infinity, infinity not equal to 1. So it is wrong. So wrong means it has no solution. So the whatever the concept he given, it is wrong. So no solution meaning answer third option 5 is there. 13th question. Z1, Z2 are two complex numbers such that Z1 plus Z2 is a complex number and Z1, Z2 is a real number. Let Z1 is equal to X1 plus I by 1. Z2 is equal to X2 plus I by 2. Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers. Z1 plus Z2 is a complex number. And a Z1, Z2 is real number. No, cannot possible like this method. Verification let us put. Z1 is equal to minus Z2 or I am writing. Verification. Verification option 2. Z1 is equal to minus Z2 bar. Z1, Z2, real number is there. It is Z1 here. And Z1, Z2 is real number. Let us write Z1, Z2 here. So multiply, it becomes X1, X2 plus, so it is minus Y1, Y2. X1, X2 minus Y1, Y2 plus I into, yeah plus i into x2 y1 plus i into x2 y1 plus x1 y2 z1 z2 is real he given z1 into z2 is real that is whenever the part is the complex number is only real you can understand imaginary part is equal to zero so imaginary part is equal to 0 meaning x2 y1 is equal to minus x1 y2. x2 y1 is equal to minus x1 y2. And z1 plus z2 is a complex number. You can write x1 plus x2 plus i into y1 plus y2. No need. Now z1 is equal to minus z2 bar. Let us write. z1 is equal to minus z2 bar. So what is z1 here? x1 plus i by 1 is equal to z2 bar. What is z2? x2 plus i by 2 minus z2 bar. So, minus of x2 minus i by 2. So, x1 plus i by 1 is equal to right here minus x2 plus i by 2. If we compare here, x1 is equal to minus x2 comma y1 is equal to y2. y2 
2 equal to y1. If you substitute here instead of x1 equal to x2 from 1 instead of x2 instead of x2 we substitute minus x1. y1 y1 simply leave it. Here minus x1 simply write minus x1 and instead of y2 we write y1. Yes, minus x1 y1 is equal to minus x1 y1. Verify it. Fourteenth one. The real value of theta of the expression 1 plus i cos theta by 1 minus 2i cos theta is a real number. So for this one also imaginary part is equal to 0. Whenever he given the condition it is real number you can understand imaginary part equal to 0. Whenever it is purely imaginary real part is equal to 0. Fourteenth question. 1 plus i cos theta 1 plus i cos theta by 1 minus 2 i cos theta 1 plus i cos theta by 1 minus 2 i cos theta Rationalize here Write here as 1 plus 2 i cos theta 1 plus 2 i cos theta by 1 plus 2 i cos theta Multiply, it becomes 1 minus 2 cos square theta. 1 minus 2 cos square theta plus i into 3 cos theta. i into 3 cos theta by 1 plus 4 cos square theta. 1 plus 4 cos square theta. What he is asking, it is only real. Whenever it is, it is real. Therefore, import equal to 0. Imaginary part. Imaginary part is equal to 0. So, here imaginary part meaning 3 cos theta is equal to 0. Whenever cos theta is equal to 0, theta is equal to 90. And principal solution of it here, alpha is equal to pi by 2. Principal solution of cos theta. General solution is 2n pi plus r minus alpha. So, 2n pi plus r minus pi by 2. N belongs to I meaning N belongs to integer. Fifteenth one, let us going to remember the value of root A like this. Root of A, root of root of A square plus B square plus A by 2 plus I into root of root of like this. Root of root of a square plus b square minus a by 2. This is the value of a plus ib. Of course, you can put here minus. If minus is there in middle, you can get minus here. For this total overall, you can write a plus r minus. So, root of a plus r minus ib is equal to root plus r minus square root of root of a square plus b square plus a whole by 2. Plus r minus i into root of root of a square plus b square minus a whole by 2. Using this one, apply the formula for everything. Fifteenth question is given as 3 plus 4i over root plus 3 plus 4i over root plus 3 plus root of 3 plus 4a. No, it is minus. Root of 3 plus 4a plus root of 3 minus 4a. Denominator root of 3 plus 4a minus this is also root of 3 minus 4a is equal to dash. 3 plus 4a apply, try to understand this is 9 plus 16, 25, 25 plus 25 root 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 by 2, 4, 4 root 2. And this is a square plus b square, 9 plus, so this is 5 minus 3, 2, 2 by 2, 1. Try to understand like this, this is 2 plus i, 2 plus i plus 2 minus i by 2 plus i minus 2 plus i. So here i and i get cancelled in numerator, 2 to get cancelled in denominator, we can understand this is a 4 by 2i. 4 by 2i. So 2 by i, 4 by 2i becomes 2 by i. Multiply and divide with i. So you can understand this is minus 2i because denominator is i square, i square is nothing but minus 1. Answer minus 2i, third option.
16 is the question. If x plus i y is equal to x plus i y is equal to root of 3 plus 4 i by 5 plus 12 i 3 plus 4i by 5 plus 12i. That implies find the value.